Hello and welcome to Lightwaves by Dotterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us is the Claris XT21X Pro. This is a 21700 powered, extreme high output, tactical everyday carry flashlight. You can find these on Amazon, retailing around $129. This was on sale at the time of this video, bringing the price down to $99. I'll have links below. Premium light, worth considering, definitely. <laughs> Look at the box. Claris, picture of it. 4400 lumens, 336 meter throw. Thing of beauty. Got some side bullet points there. Again, nice little box. All right, took everything out and I'll show you what we get. So in the box, we get the star of the show. The XT21X Pro. Awesome. We get a holster. Nice. Now this holster includes a safety bottom. So uh, when you put it in, the switches won't engage on the bottom. People are having problems with that in some of their older versions when they changed this, the tactical switches. Uh, they were going off, so nice to see that. Very cool. We get an 18650 adapter. This is fantastic. This flashlight will be able to use any 18650 battery flat top, protected button top, or just plain unprotected button tops will work in this flashlight with that adapter. Uh, and it sits in there nice and solid too. We get a charging cable, type C to type C. Okay. We get a little catalog showing the different flashlights. Of course, you can go to their website. I reviewed those two as well. Nice. And we get some adapters. We get Type-C to USB. And we get a Type-C to Lightning because this flashlight also has the option of charging phones. So it has an input charge and output. And of course, last not least, oh, a couple last, <laughs> one O-ring, nice. And we get the manual in English here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Go over it really quick. So we have product specs, freeze frame, done. What it had. There is turbo high, medium, low, moonlight strobe showing you the lumens, run times, intensities, beam throw. So there you go. Tested with their protected button top battery, which I'll show you. We have two modes on this flashlight. We have a tactical and an outdoor mode. And it shows you how to change that mode right there. And I'll be showing you the tactical because it's simple. There is the tactical mode. In a nutshell, in case I forget to do something, there you are. And the outdoor setting mode. Outdoor mode is pretty cool for just basic use, but if you need something more carry tactical, you'll want to stay in a tactical setting. Over here, we have lockout function. You can lock the flashlight out in two different ways. You can lock the side switch and you can lock the tail. The neat thing about that is you can lock both or lock one or the other, and the flashlight will still operate. I like that. Load memory, beautiful. Intelligent Thermal Protection System, I like that. It works well, uh, very well actually. Battery Capacity Indicator, green, orange, red, red, it's time to charge. <laughs> and of course, charging the battery, there you go. And then if you need any of the warranty information, there you go, freeze frame. Okay, we're done with the paperwork. I always like to do that for posterity in case you lose your manual, that can happen. <laughs> I'm going to move the goodies off to the side here, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and give you the length of this flashlight and some different size comparators. Let's go ahead and bring it down. All right, there we go. Up close and personal, yeah. Just I like the feel of this flashlight. Nice grip. It's got this really nice knurling on there. Just premium light. Loving it. It's just beautiful. And the great thing about this grip, keeps your hand away from the hot spots. Um, and of course, when you're running turbo, uh, it gets hot, but doesn't get blistering. So that's nice. Um, Let's go over dimensions. Uh, just quick little fun stuff here. Uh, six and a half inches in length, so it's fairly long. Um, you'll use that holster to carry it for sure. Um, 165 millimeters. The business end, or the head diameter, is one and five eighths of an inch across, or 41 millimeters. And our tail diameter is one and one eighth of an inch, or 28 millimeters. Nice. So for size comparison, I brought out a few little buddies. Let's see here. Bring this up. Yeah, I always like to do this because most flashlight guys have these lights or have these batteries. So right now I have a Thrunite Everyday Carry 18650 TC15 version 3. This one's on my bench all the time. 
handy little guy. I have a 18650 flat top, which I'm going to demo here shortly in this flashlight just so you can see it works. Then we have a 21700 flat top. Uh, this flash, this will work in a pinch, but not recommended. Better just use the 18650 and the adapter, definitely. Because this is a little bit loose in the flashlight using the flat top. So you definitely use a button top protected. So, And of course, we have a wonderful Workos TS-22. Everybody likes those flashlights. That's why I brought it out. And there's a video uh, included in here where I'm outdoors with the X-T21X Pro and the TS-22 together. Uh, so you can see differences. It's a lot of fun. This produces a lot of flood. This produces more flood and more throw just because it's a bigger light, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, definitely uh, a cool combination to to show you you get to see that so here we go all right so there's your size comparison all right great okay so we have features let's talk about those and then uh yeah we'll go get to demoing this flashlight awesome so we'll try to go over these fairly quickly out uh, the front you can see we got a was that crenellated i believe they call it battlements it means battlement it looks like a battlement like a top of a castle <laughs> uh strike bezel uh it's pvd coated which is nice it also protects our glass lens down there that has anti-reflective coatings, as you can see as I move it in the light. It's got a purplish hue to it. Look down in there, we got a nice deep well, a reflector, a orange peel texture. And then our LED at the bottom is a Cree XHP 70.2 P21A in cool white. Nice. All right. The body of the flashlight is your typical, uh, what's that, 6061 T6. Uh, aluminum alloy, and we have a Type 3 hard anodized finish. Nice. It's IPX8 waterproof and 1 meter drop resistance. Great. Uh, I don't want to drop my flashlight, but it's good to know it can handle at least a 3 foot drop. <laughs> Again, don't want to practice doing that. Uh, it runs on a 21700 protected button top, like I mentioned. Um, it's a 5000 milliamp hour variety with a 15 amp output. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and show you that battery real quick. Here's our tail. Go ahead and unscrew that there, like that, just in case. Yeah, so here's your battery. Comes with the flashlight, which is great. You spend the money, but it's protected button top, which is nice. And of course, now you can take your adapter, which can handle any 18650. I'm going to pop in the Molly Cell flat top, which needs a charge, by the way. So it should show on the battery status indicator of this flashlight that it needs it. So like you saw in the manual, they have green, orange, red. Red means charge. I think it was orange or red. Let's find out. So we'll turn the flashlight on with the side switch. Okay, and it's yellow. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pre long press off. Turn it back on. Quick press. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of like a yellow, meaning it's probably getting low. Might think about charging it. So, very nice. Okay, cool. Long press off. Very fun. All right, I thought I'd show it to you. That works out really well. I'm glad they included that adapter. Again, kudos to Claris for thinking of us. Uh, everyday guys who are going to want to use this type of setup. Love it. Okay, and of course, you can uh, charge this setup too in this flashlight. I did, and it worked. So, very nice. Okay, we'll put this back in here. And talk about the charging. So, yeah, the flashlight has a Type-C charging jack, as you know, by the cable. <laughs> It's 5 volts, 2 amps input. I'll show that to you. It's on the back side, so opposite of the side switch here. So we'll just flip this over. It's got a heavy rubber jacket there, which I like. It would have been nice if Claris included an extra jacket. I didn't see anything, so maybe Claris will in future models. But there's your jack on Type-C, and 5 volts, 2 amps in, which is fantastic for this capacity size battery. And definitely when you're charging those smaller 18650s, definitely going to charge much quicker. Um, so yeah, and you have an output. Remember, uh, most of their flashlights, they didn't have it stated on this one, but I believe their other ones charge out at one and a half amps. So five volts, one and a half amps to charge your cell phone in an emergency, just enough to get some energy into the phone so you can do a text at least if you're in you know, a situation where you need that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you'd want to use a different means of charging your phone. So cool. Um, yeah, so let's uh, talk about, there's quite a few things on this flashlight which are pretty cool. I'm really impressed with, of course, a dual switch, uh, tail switch design, which you've seen me uh, cover before. If you've seen my videos, Claris models, 
Um, I love this dual tactical setup. You got your main button, uh, which activates turbo. Your 4400 lumens, definitely nice. You can go momentary, nice and quiet. Or you can click it on. And then while it's on, you can change the mode with the other switch. So you can bring it down. Now we're down in the moon. So that, that is handy. And of course, click to turn it off. So you can do everything from the tail, changing the mode, uh, going to turbo instantly. And of course, you got strobe instantly. So turn away if you can handle strobe. But you just tap this and strobe will engage. If you press and hold this for more than a couple seconds, not let go, it locks strobe in. Beautiful thing. All right. Um, let's talk about the side switch. So you saw it had a red green LED underneath there. That's nice for charge status and battery status. I like how it has three colors too, where it does the orange as well. Um, that's handy. So uh, to use that, I showed you was like a quick press on, long press off. And while it's on, you can cycle by single tapping. It does have mode memory. So if we long press off, Quick press on, it remembers that last mode used, which is fantastic. I'll press off. Now, if you were on turbo, actually, let's do that. Let's go back to turbo. So we can go turbo from here, which is nice. So now we're on turbo. And long press off on high. And you don't want to turn it on and have high. So you want to just press and hold. It'll go right to low. Moon. So just remember that. Press hold your side switch and you go to moon. It's very nice. Loving that. That's the tactical group. Of course, the outdoor group uh, is more for like friendlier, <laughs> doesn't have the, you can set the tail to whatever mode you want, which is beautiful. Uh, but go ahead, long press off. Okay, from off, you can access strobe uh, by double tapping and while it's on too, so one, two. And while it's strobing, you can double tap again and go to SOS mode. So yeah, you have a strobe of 4,400 lumens for five hours, and this SOS mode is 100 lumens for 65 hours. So just press uh, to get out of that. There you go, turns it off. So very simple. Uh, you got the clip here, which is pretty basic. And of course you got a couple spots for the lanyard to hook up to. Yeah, not bad. And I think I didn't show you the lanyard. Here it is. Ooh, clear is branded and adjustable. There you go, comfortable, it's rounded. I like those. All right, I might've missed that one. Head it off to the side. Um, so yeah, let's see what else did I cover. I covered a side switch. Let's talk about lockouts real quick. So lock the side switch out. Um, press and hold for five seconds. And I believe it locks it out. Okay, hold on a second. Should, okay, I'm trying to remember that. Press, um, let's see, lock out. Hold side switch, five seconds. Okay, so it should be from off. I must have locked, let go. Okay, so now it should be locked out. And it's not. Wonderful. <laughs> I'll figure this out. Okay, from off. I wonder if I'm in the right mode here. Okay. Hold side switch, five seconds to lock. Okay. So, holding it. There we go. Okay, I wasn't holding it long enough. <laughs> I think it seemed like more than five seconds. So now we're locked out. But we still have tail use which is nice. So you can still operate this flashlight from the tail, just not the side switch. Side switch is locked out. Well, until you hit the tail. Okay, so it unlocks it. Okay, something to know. If you use your tail, your side switch will become unlocked. All right, another nice feature here, um, long press off, is you can unlock the, let's see if my color is off, I'll bring this back in, Iron Man, there we go. You just turn this half turn, uh, and then your tail's locked out. So nothing will happen here, but you still have your side switch to activate the light. So that's nice. Um, it's good to know in case you're you're nervous about your the tail being like that. And of course, I think you can lock the whole flashlight out now. So hold this for five seconds. Goes on low. That's why it got me confused. Just keep holding it. There we go. Wait for the confirmation flash. And now we're locked out. So now this flashlight will not turn on because you got the tail turned to half turn and you got this lock switch. So one, two, three to unlock. And now we got our side switch active. And of course, turn this here. And now we have our tail. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go to the garage where I took some pictures of this in action. And then we'll do a quick 
uh, desktop bench demo. So let's head to the garage. Okay, I'm 15 feet away from the garage door. It's on turbo. It's oversaturated image here. The camera was like, whoa, it's too bright. <laughs> it's uh, expect a runtime of two and a half hours. Definitely throttling involved here. It may throttle down to probably around, you know, 500 lumens or so. Um, expect that to happen if you're running turbo quite a bit. Uh, expect a throw of 336 meters. Now we're on high. This is 1500 lumens. Expect a runtime of four hours. Again, throttling is probably going to happen at some extent. Uh, they don't tell you exactly what. There's no graphs or anything. I expect a throw of 190 meters in this mode. Now we're in medium, a nice usable mode for walking. I like this one. This is 400 lumens. Expect a run time of 9 hours on a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. I don't think there's any throttling here at 400 lumens. There shouldn't be any. And a throw of 100 meters. Nice. Now we're on low. Another usable mode, 100 lumens. Expect a runtime of 30 hours and a throw of 50 meters. And our last picture here is moon mode. This is 5 lumens. Expect a runtime of 200 hours. 5 lumens gets a lot done. I was using 5 lumens around the garage as I was navigating between the cars and setting up my tripod. It worked out really well. And a throw of 15 meters. And now we're going to go outside and show you the TS-22 against the X-T21X Pro. And you can see the differences, uh, just how great this Claris model is compared to others. All right, let's go look at that video. Okay, I'm outside with the Claris X-T21X Pro. It has 4,400 lumens with a throw of 336 meters. Let's go ahead and go to the turbo. Archway is 30 feet, tree behind it is 50 feet, tree to the left is 40 feet, Tree down range there is 100 feet. Should be picking that up nicely. And then down range, there's a gazebo between the 100 foot tree and the 50 foot tree. And that gazebo is about 100 meters where the stop sign is. There you go, you get an idea. Just the throw and the flood this light has. It's absolutely amazing. And it's running fairly cool in my hand, too. I'll bring it down the sidewalk slowly. All right, now on my left hand, I'm gonna have the Workos. This is the uh, X, uh, TS-22. This is uh, 4,500 lumens with a throw of 191 meters. Going to turbo, give you an idea. Archway, 30 feet, tree behind to 50, tree left is 40, tree down range is 100 feet. Not sure if the camera's picking that up. Give you an idea with the TS-22. Everybody loves this light. It does get hot in the hand. So now I'm gonna bring in Claris XT21X Pro in my right hand. There's the Claris. And here is the work goes. Claris. And the work goes. Work goes is starting to throttle. We'll finish up with the Claris. Going down range, just a beautiful light. There's a tree down there. It's absolutely amazing. Bringing it down. Sidewalk. And we're done. As you saw, that was pretty cool outside there. Um, very, this thing is so impressive, it's not even funny. <laughs> if this is the only flashlight I could have, it would be this one right here. Just absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, loving it. So yeah, the Claris XT21X is my fave. <laughs> it's just, it's great. It just, yeah, get one. <laughs> Be happy, you'll love it. Trust me, it's just amazing. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a little desktop demo here real quick. I want to let you know, wait before we get started. It's 171 grams without the battery. Uh, I'll probably add another 60 for the battery, give you an idea. Of course, if you're using 18650, it's going to lighten it up a bit. Kind of glad for that. Um, add like an extra 45 grams for that battery and the holder isn't much just plastic holder so there you go cool so let's go ahead we'll turn the lights off show you a little bit of rfi because i'm a tuner guy with radios and i'll be definitely using this with radios because five lumens is great right now it's on moon which is five lumens which covers quite a bit now on the video here it is cool white you can see that in those pictures in the garage it was definitely more yellow because i think the camera was oversaturated so yeah, let's go through the modes here. 
I'm going to cycle it uh, with the side switch here. Let me just locate it. Okay, there we are. Aim at the ceiling. Single press. Go right to turbo. Go high, medium, low, moon. Wow, moon's actually lighting up. That's nice now. I mean, aiming at the ceiling's pretty reflective. Yeah, turbo lights up the whole place. Of course, table, it's going to wash everything out. You have idea of the soft beam. It produces a beautiful beam. It does have this yellowish halo. There's a white center with a yellow, like, I would say, a third of the way out from your center. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Let's see, I'll go down one. Yeah, it's hard to pick that up, but you can see it in higher modes, lower modes, not so much. So, yeah, bring out the radio, do RFI test just to show you. So here's my radio, trusty radio. So I noticed no RFI on the low modes. So here's Moon. Turbo, nothing. So hardly any RFI and none of the lower modes. But you'll be using the moon mode. There you go. So there, I like that. Very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this off and do final thoughts on this. All right. Yeah, I, I'm a tuner guy, and everybody watching this is. My channel is focused on uh, that style. Radios first, flashlights second, but hey, I'm flashlights and radios. <laughs> I like both. They're both portable, and they both have a purpose, and they work together, too. I love it. Um, so there we go. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Long press off. Boom. Okay, cool. I think I covered most of it. Um, like I say, there's the outdoor group. And I guess since this is the end of the video, I can show you how to do that. Um, so to get to the outdoor group, um, you press and hold your strobe. And you wait for the light here to change from green to red. And then you actuate the turbo switch. So I'm trying to figure out how I did this um, while showing you. So I think I can... I still want to blind you with this strobe. So let's go ahead, press the secondary mode button. So I'm pressing the strobe button. And I have to have my hand near the tactical part, the button switch to lock it in. So let me see if I get a good grip. So waiting for that to turn red. Once it turns, it starts to go red green. There it is. Okay, now I think I'm in, yes. Now I'm in the um, outdoors mode, which is pretty neat. So if I turn it, tail off. Now if I momentary the tail, I have momentary moon mode. <laughs> Very cool. And I think the secondary switch is uh, moon as well. Always moon. And then you can press and hold that. It stays on moon mode using the secondary. And then you can cycle, of course, your modes from there. I thought that was neat. <laughs> um, but yeah, having the ability to set the tail um, to use the lower modes is fantastic. So it has mode memory tail now. There you go. Cool. All right. Bring the cards back in. Iron Man. He's the man with master plan. He loves Claire's flashlights in each hand. He's the master man. <laughs> yeah, I like my Iron Man. Definitely. So there it is. The Claire's XD21X Pro. I'm a fanboy. You can tell. Um, went over quite a bit. Hopefully you got a good primer on this flashlight and you can say, is it for you or it's not for you? Um, of course, there's different contenders. I mean, you might want a smaller flashlight, 18650. You might want a compact uh, flashlight like this. Of course, don't forget about the G15. Um, if you watch the G15 video, I take this and compare it to the G15. And the G15 was a winner in my book. Um, I did compare them. Uh, a lot of people like this one more. For me, personally, the G15 was a winner, too, if you want a compact. So check out that video. I'll have links up here to the G15 video where I do compare it against the TS22 as well. But quite a bit of options here for you. Um, and you're in the premium market when you're looking at this one here. Uh, but you're getting all these extra things. You know, Don't forget, cool holster, cool adapter. You know, you're getting those ad other little charge adapters. You know, they thought of everything you're going to need for this flashlight. Uh, loving it. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a big like if you did. 
Two, if you like Claire's flashlights and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe at the bell icon get notified. And three, comment below what you think about the XT 21X Pro. Is it something you would consider? Let me know. I'd be uh, wondering what you'd like. And if you aren't considering this one, but you're thinking of something similar, let me know down below. And maybe I can pick it up and compare it against this flashlight so you can see the differences for yourself. All right, cool. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.